The theme this season has been focused on the outsider, on the idea of the outsider. If you look at every opera that we've done this year, from The Flying Dutchman, which is the ultimate outsider, to Seven Deadly Sins, which is about an immigrant that is passing through different countries, to Carmen, who's a gypsy who's running away into the mountains, to Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street, who's going for revenge against the whole community, to Out of Darkness, which is about two Holocaust survivors. Uh, the whole theme is about the outsider, it's about uh, persecution, it's about being different and celebrating that because we're all different and that's okay and especially in this day and age I think it's okay to be different. Out of Darkness is written as an intimate chamber opera and so we chose this extremely intimate theater uh, the theatrical outfit, which has 200 seats, and it's one of my favorite theaters in the world because it conveys a feeling of family, of intimacy. And I think that watching a story unfold like that in that intimate venue is going to be very powerful for the audience. When I read the libretto, it blew my mind, and I, I tell you why. I grew up around Holocaust survivors. Uh, grew up in the 80s in Israel. The Holocaust happened in the 40s. We were surrounded by uh, survivors, and at the time, I mean, what did we know? We were kids, we were growing up. They had the funny accent and the uh, mark, the numbers on their hands, on their arms. And we just, you know, were surrounded by all those amazing stories of survivors from the Holocaust, from that time period. However, we never ever knew about the persecution of the gays in the, uh, in the Holocaust time. And as somebody who studied in a school, who was surrounded by all those stories, it baffles me that I didn't know that 100,000 people, 100,000 stars have fallen from the sky, that that happened in the Holocaust. And I think that it's so important that we tell those stories because it impacted so many people and so many families and it remained in the dark for so long. I think the most challenging thing about this show is making sure that it feels right. It feels just right. I feel such a great sense of responsibility uh, for the people that I admire, the composer, the librettist, and people that are not with us anymore, to tell their story in the most honest way. And um, that sense of responsibility is very deep for me and uh, I think a lot about it and I think that is the the greatest challenge but also the greatest joy it's a privilege to be able to to do that with those people this subject matter and this cast I often think when I'm directing a Puccini or a Mozart opera I wish I could email Amadeus or call Giacomo but Obviously that's not possible, and so working with living composers, living librettists is one of my favorite things. Uh, now Jake Hagee and Gene Shear are some of my favorite people because they understand the power of collaboration. They understand that what they're thinking about in their studio, which is absolutely brilliant, is only going to be enhanced by the work that we do for weeks and weeks when we're in rehearsals. So they're open to feedback from the cast, from the assistant director, from the director, from the conductor, and because of that, this piece is going to be very powerful.